Number 43. Determine the number of moles and the mass required or requested for a reaction in exercise 4.42. And we have letter F out of that bunch. So in this case, we want to find the number of moles and the mass of this compound, right, which is formed by the reaction of 12.85 grams of this compound, which is ethene. And they tell me that it's with an excess of Br2. Okay, so we analyze this and we basically are given one number, right? 12.85 grams of one compound. And the question that they're asking for is we need to find the moles and the mass of some other compound. When you have identified that and you say to yourself, okay, they gave me a number of one compound and they want me to find information on another compound, this is automatically stoichiometry which means that the first thing you've got to do is get a balanced equation. So we've done tons of practice doing balanced equations, forming balanced equations, actually balancing the equations. If you guys are on the playlist, which I highly recommend you are, if you guys want more practice, uh, you could go check out the previous questions in this playlist. There's tons of them with balancing and figuring out how to get a balanced equation. So for now, if you want, pause the video and see if you could kind of come up with a equation and see if it matches mine. But now here I'm just gonna kinda go over it, right? They're saying that we need to find the moles and the mass of this compound formed by the reaction of this and Br2. So with this wording, this is a product and I'm having a reaction between the ethene and the Br2. Now, when I write this balanced equation, it's much easier for me to just give the chemical formula instead of using all these bonds. So for example, this, I can just say that there's two carbons, so C2, and then there's four hydrogens, right? The two carbons are here, one, two, and then the four hydrogens are one, two, three, and four. I don't care about these bonding lines that have nothing to do with doing a chemical formula. So this is C2H4. I'm going to do the same thing for this. So this right here, I, ooh, what just happened? This, I have three elements. I have the carbon, right? One, two. So I'm going to say C2. I have the four hydrogen, one, two, three, four. So that's H4. And then I just have two bromines, Br and Br. So Br2. So now when I make my balanced equation, I'm just going to say that my C2, 2H4, which was this guy, reacted with my Br2, and I made this compound, C2H4, Br2. So let's see. Beautiful. Now, just writing an equation is not good enough. Just make sure that it's balanced. But I'm looking at all the subscripts right now. I have two carbons, two carbons, four hydrogens, four hydrogens, two bromines, two bromines. So we're good in this case, but it's always good to just check. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the starting material under the compound in which they told me. So they told me that I had 12.85 grams of C2H4. So where C2H4 is, I'm just going to put 12.85 grams. And now the question is asking for the moles and the mass of this compound, which is this one. So I'm just gonna make a little note and say, okay, they wanted me to find the moles and they wanted me to find the grams. Beautiful. Okay, maybe I can, boop, perfect. So now you can kind of clearly see that this question is just saying, they gave me information on one compound and I wanna find the information on another compound. This is stoic. And it goes by just a series of ratios, right? And I like to categorize this as this right here. Now, for this, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because we have to do our work down at the bottom. But stoichiometry, if you keep saying over and over to yourself, grams to moles to moles to grams, grams to moles to moles to grams, the first two compounds or the two sets here are your starting material. That's why I have it in red and I label it as A. 
The other two is what you're trying to get, which I labeled as B and it's in blue. So that's why I made this red because this is what I'm going to start with and this blue because that's what I want. Now let's just cater this to what we actually want, right? So since this is my starting material, I'm starting with grams. So grams. So I'm starting with 12.85 grams of not A anymore. I'm going to erase that. And maybe I'll just extend this a little bit. This is grams of C2H4. So when I convert my grams into moles, not A anymore, but C2H4. I think I can, there you go, squeeze it in. Now, when I convert over to moles, it's the one that I want. So in this case, who do I want? Oh, I want the C2H4Br2. So that's what I'm gonna put here. C2H4Br2. And then from there, I could find the grams of C2H4Br2. Okay, we got our little schematic here. Let's get going. Always start with what you're given, right? So we start in with 12.85, and that's grams of C2H4. Now this is just one big series of conversions. We're converting from grams to moles of the same compound. We're gonna convert over from the red to the blue, and then we're gonna go from moles to grams. So this is just ratios, which means that I multiply by a conversion factor, a ratio, in which I'm gonna have something on the top and something on the bottom. But the question is, what, what is it, right? Always work with your units first and then come back to your numbers. So for example, you don't want grams of C2H4 anymore. So that goes on the opposite side, that goes on the bottom. So grams of C2H4 on the bottom, and look ahead to see what unit you're gonna put on the top. You're gonna to put moles of C2H4 on the top. Let me just extend this line, perfect. And now we gotta figure out what the numbers are for the top and the bottom. Well, we know how to do this conversion, right? We've done this tons and tons and times, right? Whenever you have grams of one compound and you're just trying to find the moles, you're gonna use the periodic table, the PT. And remember, when you are using the periodic table, there's always gonna be one mole of that compound. So in this conversion factor, wherever the mole is, you put a one there. This number is the mass that you're going to calculate on the periodic table. But be careful, you got two carbons and four hydrogens. So you gotta take that into consideration. So I'm gonna take my carbon, 12.01, and times it by two, so get your calculator, uh, your, your periodic tables out, and also get your calculators out, right? And then I'm gonna add that to four hydrogens, and then let's see what I get as the total. I get roughly 28.052. Your number might be a little bit different, but it should be roughly the same. And now since everything is accounted for here in this ratio, I could finally cancel out the units. I don't cancel out the numbers just the units. And looky here, I'm left with moles of the ethene, C2H4, and now I'm over here. But that's not what I want. I want to at least get to moles of the blue, right? C2H4, Br2. So I gotta keep going. So don't worry about doing the math now. Just keep moving on. Make a new ratio and do the same process as we did before. But now you don't want this unit. So that goes on the bottom. So mole of C2H4 on the bottom and the unit that you want goes on the top. Look ahead. Oh, we're going from moles of C2H4 to moles of C2H4Br2. And I'm gonna put this in blue just to show you that this is the, the conversion factor in which you convert from one compound to another. Okay, we have the units down. But now always the question is, what are the numbers that go here? Now this is something new. When you're going from moles of one compound to moles of the other compound, the only relationship that they have is through the balanced equation, BE, balanced equation. 
And in this case, we are only caring about the sub, uh, sorry, we're only caring about the coefficients in your balanced equation. So that's why we have to get a balanced equation. This stage. And remember, the coefficients are the numbers in the front. But for every single one of them, I don't see a number. So technically, there are secret ones. Every one of these has a 1 in the coefficient. So for C2H4BO2, I have 1. For C2H4, I also have 1. Everything is accounted for for that ratio, so now I can cancel out the unit. And that was one of the answers. They wanted us to find the moles of this compound, which this is the only unit that's left, so that's going to be one of the answers. So I'm just going to stop, and I'm just going to calculate it. For calculation purposes, 1 divided by 1 is 1, so I don't even care about these numbers. The only thing that I really care about is anything that's not 1. So the 12.85 and the 28.052, and the 28 is in the denominator, so I'm going to divide. 12.85 divided by 28.052, and I get 0 0.458, 458, 1. Now just know, whatever the number you started with, which is the 12.85, the number of sig figs that you have here, which is 4, is the number of sig figs that you should have in your end, technically. Just make sure that your teacher, professor, you know, if they care about sig figs, you just have to know that. Me personally, I don't care. So whatever, whatever answer you would give me, you know, with any sig fig is fine with me. But in this case, we're just going to do the four sig figs. And this would be in moles of C2H4Br2. Okay, one answer down. Now I could pick up right where I left off and just go from moles of C2H4Br2 to grams of C2H4Br2. So let's see. I think I, think I could fit it down here. Actually, let me see. If I just move, if I just move this a little bit upward, I think I might have enough room. Yeah, we're good down here now. So now start with where you ended. So I will say 0 0.4581, and that's in mole of C2H4Br2, right? Use your ratio. You don't want the mole of C2H4Br2, so that goes on the bottom. And what do you want? Well, you want to go to grams. So grams of C2H4Br2. Cool beans. Units are accounted for, but like always, what are the numbers that are going to be here? Well, remember, if you have moles of one compound and you're going to grams of the same compound, it's kind of like the one that we did in the beginning. We have to use the periodic table, PT. And remember, if you are using the periodic table, you have one mole. So wherever you see the word mole, just put a one there. The other guy is the mass on the periodic table. So that's where you got to get your periodic table out and calculate the masses. Just be careful, you have two carbons, four hydrogens, and two bromines. So two times 12.01, and I'm gonna add that to four times 1.008 for my hydrogen, and then two times bromine, which is 79.9. So I get roughly about 187.852. These units cancel, and now I just do the math. So I do the 187.852 times 0.4581. And if we need four sig figs, and maybe I will put, I can put the answer here, right? 86.06 .06 grams of C2H4Br2. And that is your final answer. Perfect. So, guys, what do you think about stoichiometry? Hopefully it's easier now. Um, let me know in the comments, all right?
Love talking to you guys. Love seeing how you guys are doing in your classes. Good luck on all your future tests or quizzes. And if you guys are in physics or in math class and you want to need help in those two, or if you have any friends or classmates uh, that need help in these subjects, you can tell them about us. And yeah, go to the front of our channel. We've got tons of playlists for you guys, so maybe we could help you out there as well. All right? Keep studying hard. Have a great day. And yeah, be well. All right? See you soon. Bye.